Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. South Korea is gearing up to launch its second military satellite in early April, as announced by the Ministry of Defense on Monday, March 25, 2024. This initiative is part of a bold project aiming to deploy a total of five surveillance satellites to bolster monitoring efforts focused on North Korea. The inaugural satellite in this series was launched via a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from a military base in California, USA, in December of the preceding year. The forthcoming satellite is slated for launch from a military facility in Florida, USA, marking a pivotal stride toward South Korea's objective of having five spy satellites operational by 2025. During a press briefing, John Hakyu, a ministry spokesperson, indicated that final discussions with satellite contractors were underway, with a launch anticipated for early April, though a specific date was not disclosed. The first satellite, launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California on December 1, 2023, was equipped with electro-optical and infrared sensors capable of capturing high-resolution imagery of the Earth's surface. Subsequent satellites will feature synthetic aperture radar technology, enabling data collection in all weather conditions via remote sensing systems. This development unfolds against the backdrop of North Korea's advancements in space-based surveillance capabilities. Pyongyang successfully placed its first military spy satellite into orbit in November of the preceding year and has announced plans to launch three additional spy satellites this year. However, recent events have witnessed escalating tensions between North Korea and South Korea. North Korea issued threats of an immediate military strike against South Korea in response to any perceived provocation, following artillery exercises near their shared border. This threat, conveyed by Kim Yo-jong, the influential sister of leader Kim Jong-un, coincided with Pyongyang's launch of artillery shells near the South Korean border for three consecutive days. In response to these actions, North Korea fired over 200 artillery shells toward two South Korean islands, prompting evacuations. Seoul condemned these firings as provocative acts exacerbating tensions and jeopardizing peace on the Korean peninsula. Furthermore, the dispatch of five North Korean drones across South Korean territory further inflamed tensions, prompting an immediate response from South Korea, which deployed fighter jets and attack helicopters to intercept and neutralize the drones. Last week, South Korean Defense Minister Shin Won-sik underscored North Korea's preparations for a second spy satellite launch, potentially scheduled for late March, urging vigilant monitoring of the situation on the Korean peninsula. That's all for now, see you later.